Here's another piece of advice. Here's another piece of advice. Whenever you guys see a trigonometric function squared, whenever you see something squared, think of your Pythagorean identities. Okay? So immediately I see cosine squared and I think, oh, sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. Yes? Now, we want to see can we manipulate this where it's 1 minus cosine of theta? Well, sure. If I just subtract cosine squared of theta on both sides, I get sine squared of theta equals 1 minus cosine squared of theta. Do you guys see that? Agree with me. So I'm, immediately once I see any term that has cosine that has a squared, I automatically think Pythagorean identity. That doesn't mean every single time you have something squared, you have to use the identities, or that's the best way. But that's usually where I like to start. Um, so now I just have sine squared of theta over sine of theta. And again, ladies and gentlemen, sine squared of theta is just like x squared over x. It's really just sine of theta times sine of theta over sine of theta. Sine of theta is now equal to the right side. So you have sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. Subtracted cosine on both sides. Sine squared of theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared of theta. 1 minus cosine squared of theta is equal to sine squared. So just replace it. Okay, I didn't know you were playing. Yeah. What? This? Yes. That's in your notes from last class period. Were you here last class period? Yes. OK, that's in your notes. What? And I also went over this at the beginning of class. Remember x, this Pythagorean theorem, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1? You'll. That's, that will be provided to you. You'll always have that for you. But what's your question? So I just subtracted to get this sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared. Well, that's the problem. Those are the same. So based on this identity, 1 minus cosine squared of theta equals sine squared of theta. Okay. 